they're saying we've just sold out to our users. We've just sold out to our users. You understand? And so Jim Alistair says to the DUP, why are you in Machine Fain? And the distance say, did we really fight for two, three ministries in Stormont? <laughs> <laughs> you understand? So the peace, even when it comes, until people see that this is the only, in my view, the only possible justice you can have is a stop circle. That's my view. You can't have justice in these terms. Justice looks like another world. We end this release. But you, uh, that's the only. Otherwise, there's a fundamental problem in the middle of our peace processes, which are we have a fear that we're losing. There's another way. Another way. It's unjust what we just have to do. And it leaves everybody wobbly. Defensive still in the context of looking at each other, saying, if we lose our grip here, they'll take, if we, if we give an inch, they'll take the Okay, so I'm going to stop there because I think I have to. Right? <laughs> I'm not, I, first of all, I, suppose, I just want to complete the whole round by saying that's not offered to you, as, I suppose, and I really need to make sure that is not how I come to see a lot of this stuff in terms of belief in terms. It doesn't mean you have to believe it. Uh, you have to, uh, but at some level or other, I suppose, what I want to say is I think in some ways, where you get into this, uh, one of the questions is, how do we teach history in such a way that some of the relational questions that are underlying you come, to, come alive for the people we're teaching to and in the context where we're, we're teaching? So that, especially in single identity context, which is most of our schools, the reality is most of our schools, how does it become possible that both our story and the story of the other are present <laughs> in how we teach. In how we teach. And in the context of our Okay.